Hello everyone. <laughs> my name is Grace Sullivan and this is my sociology project. Okay, first, fashion. When I was in elementary school and growing up, I was always a big tomboy, so my fashion consists of baggy sweatshorts, sweatpants, old t-shirts, Nike sneakers, ankle socks, the L. Bean backpacks, and etc. Basically, I just didn't care what I looked like. Most of my friends were guys anyway, so I just fit in with them. Okay, and then when I was in middle school is when I started to become more girly, per se, probably because, like, boys were in the picture, and everyone just started being like, oh my gosh. So, I was more like the trends of Uggs were pretty popular, American Eagle shirts and like pants, and a lot of people did like the shirts like tied up, which was trendy at the time. And well, I mean, like people still do that, but it's just not as much. Everyone had like braces were part of it, like the North Face jacket, jackets, the Vera Bradley lunch boxes, and backpacks that would match perfectly, so everyone at the lunch table knew who which was theirs. And then a big thing was wearing spandex undershorts so that you could pass the dress code. I was big once it got warm out. And then now that I'm in high school, my style has definitely changed because what was in then is no longer in for high school because people were older. So Vans are really in, Lululemon leggings, college sweatshirts, flannels, scrunchies, mom jeans, ripped jeans are always in. Just like popular trends as of now. Okay, next we're gonna be talking about rumors. Rumors have changed a lot since when you were little to now. In elementary school, there was not a ton of rumors, but if they were, they were just about if someone likes someone else, if there's drama. Not really drama, because there's not that much in elementary school, so really people just didn't really care at that point. And then when we got to middle school, it was more people started to date, so that caused drama, breaking up with other people. Like A big thing at the time when I was in middle school was if people sat at different lunch tables. That was always a big thing that caused drama, because if you're part of one friend group and then start hang out, sat at a different lunch table, every, like everyone would see and everyone just took that as like... And also social media grew when we were in middle school, so that also could cause drama. And then once we got to high school, it's more drama as in like, there's parties and like that kind of stuff that like, if people aren't there, they just like make up what could have happened that can get passed around the school. And a lot of people just want to know if like things happened is still consistent with like the boys drama and like people liking other people, breaking up, all that stuff, but there's also drama about like people, like not drama, but like rumors about teachers that go around, like people talk about other things and like, um, basically it's just people get in trouble, drama, school, basically are the rumors in high school. Okay, next is fads. In elementary school, one of the main fads that like everyone knows about now is the silly band one where everyone would basically have them like all the way up their arms. They would trade with other people at lunch, like try to collect them all. Everyone wanted like every single silly bit. Like a new one came out and everyone was like rushing to the paper store to get them, along with like the webkins that were there and everyone would have like webkins, like families that were crazy. And people just want to collect these things so they were really popular at the time. Another popular thing that was big in elementary school was <laughs> baseball cards because same kind of thing as silly bands, everyone collected them, traded them, like just looked at them. People that I was friends with anyways. And then a lot of the guys anyways and my friends always had tech decks when we were younger and like in school we'd be doing like tricks off the lunch table and like getting taking them away from teachers because in the middle of class they'd be like, doing it off the desks and like out of water bottles, pencil boxes. It's pretty big. And then another big fad from the early-ish 2000s to mid 2010 whatever was almost every song was in like auto-tune so like every song you heard by like T-Pain or like Lil Wayne or whatever was like always in auto-tune so no one could ever like no one knew what they sounded like because it was just always in like that was just the trend at the time same with like the Bratz dolls were huge like everyone wanted the Bratz like more girls I but boys too, um, wanted the brat stalls, those were big. 
Razor scooters, like I still have mine when I was younger, most people do. Because they were, everyone would ride their, their friend's house, try to do like little jumps on them, they were fun. Then another one from elementary school was Snuggies were huge. Everyone had, I think I had a Patriots one and a Celtics one maybe. They were big. Then once we got to middle school, everyone started the fad of like the bottle flipping that like I guess can still be like around today but it's definitely died down a ton and it was when like dab came out and everyone was like oh my gosh like <laughs> and <laughs> so that was big fidget spinners came out those were pretty popular and since we were in middle school everyone started getting like phones and snapchat instagram like social media so selfies became pretty big and another weird one that went around was when tim tebow was famous like well, he's still famous, but like more famous back then, and everyone would do like the T-bowing or whatever. That was popular. In high school, a lot of the fads enjoyed are some music still while everyone walks through this video. Around like, <laughs> like when people would like dab, and I guess people still do like water bottle and flipping and stuff. But there's not that many like new fads at this point, except for like. I guess like social media fads could be like if something's like really popular at the time like certain dance moves come up like the new like whoa <laughs> or like songs become like everyone gets like obsessed with the song like does a dance and stuff with it and like all like the memes become famous and the, the hashtags like the old time road one so they're more just like songs social media based versus when we were younger they're more like physical things a lot of traditions for me are not based on like what age I'm in, if they're just kind of consistent, that's what makes them traditions. So, the first one is for Black Friday shopping every year, me and my best friend Cameron, who we've been friends since second grade, so since we were probably like middle school, we went and it's like us and like our older siblings sometimes, but now that they like are in college, it's mostly just us. But it's because my birthday is always right around Thanksgiving, it's November 23rd, and hers is earlier in November, so it's like our birthday thing where we just go and Black Friday shop obviously until like 3 a.m. and I just feel gross and sleep <laughs> all day. And then the next one is around, we have a family Christmas party every year. So we, every family, like every member of every family buys ugly Christmas ornaments and everyone on my dad's side everyone goes to my aunt's house and everyone puts their ugly ornaments under the Christmas tree. And then they just you swap them, like pick a number, like everyone gets one, switch them up really fun we also do like Christmas caroling there like like it's a more of a single say uh, sing along instead of like going to other people's houses and then another tradition of my family is on Christmas Day we hide a Christmas pickle in the Christmas tree and everyone like tries to look for it tries to hide it sorry obviously like, hid in there and then whoever finds it gets an extra Christmas present it's usually not something huge it's just like a like, Rubik's Cube or like phone charger, but it's still just like the fun tradition that we've always done. Lastly, I'm gonna be talking about crowds, which is ironic because we're kind of in a crowd right now. There's more people, but then they left as I started recording. Anyways, <laughs> um, crowds haven't really changed because it's just like when people gather, but when we were younger, I used to like certain concerts I would go to. Like if I would like the One Direction concert then, except crazy about One Direction. That would be like crowds if they were all like, everyone knew they were going, like going for certain reasons and stuff. And then once you reach like, where there's always like the ice cream socials when you're younger that everyone like crowd around, like people that like a lot of people would go to, like places that a lot of people would go to. And then once we got to middle school, it was more like everyone used to like crowd and like go to the mall was huge. And it's like everyone would be there. And obviously any mall you go to, there's gonna be crowds because it's a popular place to go. And then there's the school dances that everyone crowds because like everyone's dancing in the middle. Same as in high school when like the prom in Catil because everyone's there, everyone like is dancing in circles, like it's literally so stuffy and crowded. But another place that people would get crowded was just waiting for the buses in elementary school or high school if you still take the bus, but people would always crowd to like get on the bus, getting off the bus, and just like everyday things like fire drills everyone crowds out. Like, every type of like in-school kind of thing involves usually crowds. So it's not something that's like 
changes really. It's just like as long as you're in school, there's always going to be crowds based on what you're doing. And if you choose to do like out of school things that like are at public places, like sporting games, like athletic, like um, like concerts, anything, there's going to be crowds. So they just kind of stick with you forever. Thank you so much for listening to my collective behavior themes video.